Hey guys, what's up, Sagittarius? Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. It's going to be a reading for the month of February. We're going to break it down week by week and look at two situations for each week. Um, the general energy and action. You kind of have a heads up what's coming up. Um, wow. All right, we'll see what's going on there if it pops back up. All right, Sagittarius. So, month of February. Keep in mind that the energies can go both ways. This could be your energy or the energy of the person that you're dealing with. So, flip flop it how you need to. Also, keep in mind this is a general reading. So, take what's yours, leave the rest behind. If this does resonate with you, um, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. If you guys like to contact me for a personal reading, find that information below as well. Alright, Sagittarius, what's coming up? If this is the first time you're watching my channel um, and this does resonate with you, make sure you hit the subscribe button so you can check out the immediate future throughout the um, throughout the week. Alright, so you could be dealing with a Virgo. Um, really pay attention to what you know. Like don't don't let your emotions cloud the truth. Um if that means anything to you, because that's, see what I mean? Um, we have the moon, the five of wands, and the seven of swords straight off the bat. And we haven't even got, and now the ten of swords. There's an ending coming. There's betrayal. There's somebody trying to, I don't know what they're, they're trying, there's secrets all around this shit. Um, deceit. And we haven't even got the cards laid out. I'll show you in a second. Let me get the rest of these. Alright, yeah. You don't trust it. You probably already know what I'm talking about. Um, overall energy for the month ahead for Sagittarius. Nope. Too many. One card. Overall energy for the month ahead for Sagittarius, please. Thank you. The Eight of Cups. Somebody, you're walking away from something. You're turning your back towards it towards the situation. What I was talking about is we have the moon, Pisces energy, the five of wands, conflict, drama, the seven of swords, liar, cheater, thief, the ten of swords with the justice card. So it's, it's, it seems like a pretty final ending here. Um, but we'll see. It, it, it feels like a heavy month. I can't even, I can't even lie. Love wise, it's, it's not looking the easiest. All right, so we have um, Libra Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Pisces. Um, it could be anyone, though. It's just a very, seems argumentative month and uh, with someone. And not only that, deceit. Um, the justice does wrap it up. So um, not for most cases, but in some, it could end in a legal situation. Um all right, month ahead for Sagittarius, what's coming up? So, let's see. Um, 18, 20, 29. Numbers are breaking down to a two. Twos are about decisions, choices. And this justice card is an 11, which is, um, you know, a two. Um, so, it's about trying to find that balance. And I'm not sure. We'll see. Interesting, the Empress is at the bottom of both decks. Taurus energy with the world and the magician here. So, looks like something's really been trying to happen. All right, so show me this moon for the first week of February for Sagittarius. Pisces energy, this is about things that are hidden. There could be some type of communication um, with the Knight of Swords there. Um... There's a choice. And it looks like it kind of just comes in and catches you off guard here. But it's like that choice about moving forward with the Queen of Photo. Let me turn this music down. Sorry, it's all the way across the room. That shit got loud. And just so I said that, my phone lost service. All right, so at the bottom of it, you have the Justice card, which is here, and this Queen of Swords, which is here. You're not going to take any shit this month. But for this first, it's like 
the moon, it's hidden from you now. It could be hidden from you then. But yeah, see the two and the four of wands. So there's a choice here. Um, and it looks like it comes in and kind of catches you really off guard to move forward towards. It could be a new house or like a new commitment, a new relationship here. It's something solid. But the choice is there. And this could be hidden from you now. On the flip side, you got the four of cups. Um, you could have lost interest in something. Yeah, because temperance, that's your energy here. You may not be interested in it. You may kind of be fed up with a specific situation here. Give me one more for Sagittarius. Thank you. The Eight of Swords. So, okay. Um, that's nervousness. Overthinking it. Um, scared, to, nervous to speak up about something. Your heart's here. Um, your heart space is here. Your emotional fulfillment. But with that Four of, four of Cups, you could have really... Um, I just want to tell you, don't doubt yourself because the four of cups is like possibly an offer getting rejected. It can be somebody kind of getting bored, set up with the situation here, but um, it makes it makes you kind of nervous or makes someone nervous. But your energy is right there, so I'm kind of seeing it with you because there could be like a situation here, something really pops up out of the blue, and it like it triggers a domino effect. Show me this five of wands for Sagittarius for the second week of February. See, there could be some arguments or some drama. There's some competition. So it's like you're turning your back. This eight of cups is the overall energy. But you're walking away possibly towards something new here, towards a fresh start. Um, because you're walking away from something. You're turning your back here, possibly just focusing on self-love. Um, King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Energy. So there's some hold back. Um, well, definitely. Somebody's turning their back here. And it's like there could be competition or, you know, some, you know, somebody fighting for something new. So you're turning your back there. Show me this Ten of Wands to the flip side for Sagittarius for the second week of February. Show me this Ten of Wands. Someone's carrying a lot of weight here, but you could be working hard towards something. Um, but it, it kind of feels like a struggle here um, on someone's part. Show me this Ten of Wands for Sagittarius. The Lovers, Gemini Energy, and this King of Swords. So, hmm. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Energy with the Hangman. It's, it's a tough time. Um, somebody is going through a lot here. They're carrying a lot of weight with this hangman and this king of swords. You definitely could be dealing with a Gemini. Um, and somebody's got this on the brain a lot, but they're carrying a lot of weight and like no emotions there at all. It doesn't feel like, um, cause the king of swords is somebody who, um, Who can kind of shut off his emotions. He doesn't. He, he's more of a logical thinker. And with the Queen of Swords here the next week. It's like you end up. Um, mirroring each other's energies. Possibly both going into a place of. Um, logical thinking. Instead of a heart space. Yeah, you're powerful this week. Because see, here, these cards, it's like you know where you're going. Uh, the Empress uh, Taurus energy, but also a very powerful energy with that magician there. So it's like you're taking this leap of faith, um, or you're going towards, or someone is, um, possibly without even really thinking. The Six of Cups. So there could be a, a situation that involves kids or someone from your past kind of coming back around. Um, that's not for everyone because, you know, you definitely could be walking away towards something new. <clears throat> and then the next week we have the Seven of Swords. So that's Liar, Cheater, Thief with this Queen of Swords. So you definitely aren't trusting something here. What is the Seven of Swords for the third week? Nope. What is the Seven of Swords for Sagittarius? <clears throat> Excuse me. Seven of Swords. So this is somebody, shit. Definitely being very deceptive here. There's secrets all around us. 
um, on someone's side. You have the Five of Swords. The Strength card is Leo energy, okay? Somebody's feeling, like, really bold here. The Five of Swords is somebody wanting to win at all costs, and this is a liar to your thief. So somebody is, is being, without a doubt, sneaky as hell here, um, kind of going for what they want here. The High Priestess, this could be you and you're keeping it to yourself because there's something new here. There's something passionate that somebody is 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 going after. Um, it, it looks, you know, it could be, you know, something very sexual or something like that. But the high priestess is also about secrets, things that are hidden. So we have like three secret slash lie cards here. Um, there is the start of something new. I don't know whose side it's on, but um, it's dishonesty all around it. So on the flip side, you have the Queen of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, but she she is a logical thinker. See, yeah, the nine of the nine of Pentacles, very confident, very abundant, um, possibly like intimidating. But with the Queen of Swords here, you've got some guards up. It looks like you're about to cut out what's no longer serving you here because you're standing your ground and you're knowing your words. That Queen of Pentacles, uh, sorry, that Queen of Swords isn't going to take any crap. And with that Nine of Pentacles, you're good. You're stable on your own. You're not relying on your heart to push you through because um, you got yourself. Show me this Ten of Swords for Sagittarius for the last week. See, this is the ending because of betrayal, right? Capricorn energy with the devil, but toxic lies or, you know, behavior patterns that keep repeating. So there's an ending here, and now somebody is feeling let down or regretful um the best thing to do is and that's have no expectations with this five of cups here because that's when we get let down um but there is an ending either with the capricorn or with this um you know this this toxic situation these i'm just gonna call it you know dishonesties that's going on here so with the five of cups here that somebody's going let down um, possibly regretful, depending on whose side that it's on. Was that the Page of Cups? Yeah, okay. With the Nine of Swords, this is somebody regret, <clears throat> regretting their actions. Because the Page of Cups is somebody wanting to offer an apology, and they're so worried. There's so much stress around it. Show me this justice for Sagittarius for the last week. Shoot, I dropped them. So it's like, this is your energy here with the Queen of Wands. Your emotional fulfillment is around you, but you're confident and you're not backing down. With the Three of Wands, this is somebody waiting, somebody at a distance waiting for things to balance out here. Yeah, because you could be leaving this shit straight out in the cold with the Five of Pentacles, like leaving it behind. Because like I said, you're about to cut out what's no longer serving you here. So it's like somebody does slip up here and, you know, there's some things that happen, but then the net, like you stand your ground, you don't back down. You you have this confidence, you know your worth, you're not taking any shit. And then by the next week they regret it here. But I feel like it's too little too late because you're leaving this out in the cold and moving on to calmer water. It's like towards a more peaceful time. Towards some smoother sailing. This is rough for you ever reading this is. So but I mean you're you're standing on your you know, you're definitely um, handling your own here, standing up for yourself. So, um, yeah, see the queen of swords with the three of swords at the bottom, you're protecting your heart. You're not counting on your heart to get you through. Um, you're independent on your own and you would like love, but you know, if somebody just going to play with it then you're going to end up cutting it out. So, all right, Sagittarius, you guys were to contact me for a personal reading. Find that information below. You guys take care, and I'll see you next time. Bye.